Hey gang, it's JP Dillon with another upcoming project. What you're looking at is a late 50s Hoffman 19K7419. Uh, this is an all-steel portable. It's a 19-inch CRT. Uh, I picked this up for a dollar at an estate sale. Uh, it does not work. There's a shorted electrolytic that uh, pops the circuit breaker. The CRT tests very strong and the flyback appears to be uh, in good condition. Uh, so this will be the next thing and I just wanted to show you a video. I'm going to put the camera down for a moment because I require both hands to lift this beast and turn it around. This machine weighs literally about 65 pounds and it's supposed to be a portable. I'm just going to turn it around so I can show you the chassis. And I'm very impressed with how this machine is made. Look at the chassis layout, how it's wrapped around. You start here at your tuner. You go through your first three IF stages. There's your sound and video. Power transformer. Flyback and sweep sections. Uh, and again, the thing that really impressed me is that this is a portable and they have a real power transformer. Uh, very impressive. Uh, the flyback uh, is in good shape. Let me see if I can pop the cover here. There's my little socket driver. The high voltage transformer is very beefy for a little black and white set. Let's see. Oh, we got some more under here. At first I was debating whether to fix it up because I've got so many of these projects lying around. It's just mind-boggling. But today I kind of did an inventory of what I've got and what I'm working on. Just kind of said to myself, eh, let's just deal with it. So there you go. Standard 1B3 rectifier. No scary wax drippings. Also no rust on the set, and uh, what's common of 1950s television sets is the plastic yolks disintegrate, but that does not happen here. There's a little bit of disintegration here. Uh, I covered that with some epoxy to kind of slow the process, but I may actually have to have it redone. But uh, there it is. It's the Hoffman 19, and uh, I hope to figure out how to get the chassis out of here. It's not as easy as it looks. There's uh, multiple mount points, some of which are inside the chassis and some of which are on the exterior of the cabinet. But uh, once I get it out, I'll uh, replace the power supply, electrolytics, uh, capacitors, and the sweep, video, IF, etc. And uh, just see what kind of picture it'll produce. But uh, I've often found out that uh, the off-brand companies like Packer Bell, Hoffman, um, etc. are can be sleepers. So. Stay tuned. I will post more videos as I progress in the restoration of this set. 